Guys, I know there's a ton of rods out there on the market. In today's video, I'm gonna try to break through the noise and get you dialed in on a high-end rod. In today's video, we're doing a review on the Six Sense Unicorn Rod. Thanks for clicking on this video. For anybody new, I am Matt Loon, and today's video is all about the Six Sense Unicorn Rod. This is a $300 price point rod, so it is on the higher, higher side. I have a handful of these rods, and the ones that I find myself using the most is the 7'3 medium heavy and the 7'4 heavy. I use the 7.4 Heavy for wobble heads. I use it for the Carolina rig, heavy jigs. Sometimes I'll use it for a swim jig. And even in a pinch, I'll use it for some of the smaller, lighter swim baits. And then my 7.3 Medium Heavy is like my workhorse. I use it for lighter jigs, Texas rigs, shaky heads that are about 3 8 and maybe a half. But those are the things that I use these rods for the most. Anything where sensitivity is key and anything where I'm dragging that bait and I want to feel everything down under the water. The 7 foot 4 I typically have spooled up with 15 pound test fluorocarbon line. When I'm dragging something I want that invisibility of the fluorocarbon but the fluorocarbon also doesn't have a lot of stretch so it's also going to radiate all that that sensitivity in the line and in the rod to feel everything down there on the bottom. And then on that 7 foot 3 model I have 12 pound test. I know some of you guys are going well you fish jigs why are you throwing it on 12? I get a lot of bites on that 12 pound test. So if I can go with lighter line, I will because I feel like it makes a difference. That 15 pound test on the 7.4 is excellent and then that 12 on the 7.3 is also really good. A couple of my favorite features about these unicorn rods is that they are super light and they are super sensitive. I do recommend these for those jigs, those Texas rigs, anything where you're gonna be dragging that bait along the bottom. The sensitivity in these is really, really good. And then they're super light, so they're not gonna wear you out all day. And I do recommend getting a little bit higher end reel for these rods. I paired these up with the Daiwa Tatula SV in the TW103 or just the regular SV model. I feel like those are light reels that pair up really, really well with these rods. You can cast everything a mile. They're real light combos, so you're getting all that sensitivity that this, this rod's designed for. I do recommend these rods for that $300 price point. I don't use these rods for everything, guys. I dial these rods in when it comes to presentations that sensitivity is key. I don't spend $300 on a crankbait rod most of the time. I'm gonna be going a little bit less expensive with those because sensitivity isn't always as much of a factor. When you're fishing a jig, when you're fishing a Texas rig, when you're fishing a shaky head, when you're flipping, you need something that's sensitive because you need to feel those subtle bites because you want to be able to set that hook and really drive that hook home. These things excel with the weight and with the sensitivity. Now when it comes to fishing this rod, when you have this thing in your hand for the first time, you're going to notice how light it is, and then you're going to notice how sensitive it is as soon as you cast it and start dragging something back to you. When you get that bite, you're going to notice the subtleness of that bite, and you're going to be ready to set that hook. With this rod, the tip is very fast, so it doesn't have a lot of a, a bend. It's not parabolic. It's all towards the tip, which is what you want in a sensitive worm setup, jig setup, something like that. You don't want a big parabolic bend. You want it just to be at the end, and then right here, the backbone of this rod stays stiff so that way when you set the hook you get a nice hook set into those fish and then it's also going to keep that hook in the fish on the way back to the boat so you're not losing fish. So as you can see this thing has you dialed in when it comes to your slow presentations, your worms, your jigs. These rods are designed for that. So if you guys want to go pick up one of these rods, make sure to use the link that's down in the description and use my discount code LUNA10. It's going to save you 10% off at the Six Sense website. That's SixSenseFishing.com. And make sure to use discount code LUNA10 to save yourself some money. A great bait to pair up with the Six Sense Unicorn Rod is the Six Sense Bongo on a Texas rig or on a jig. So if you want to see a review on that lure, make sure to click on the video that's on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.